It's the attention to the little things that keep your day running smoothly, and Honda's Homelink is a great system for that. So buckle up, because you're about to experience the ID effect. Now, Homelink systems have a reputation for being difficult to program, but I'm going to break it down into three easy steps and show you how to get it taken care of real quick. First thing we need to do is pick the button we want to program and hold that button along with the button on the old remote together, watching the little red light. When the light starts to blink faster, you've already completed step one. Step two is actually the hardest part of programming, finding the learning button on your opener. Now, on some garage openers, there'll be three buttons on the bottom. In that case, you press the round one. On a lot of openers, there's a square button on the back. And on some, you even have to pull a little light cover down to find the program button. Once you find the button, you hold it down for about two seconds. A little light will start to flash, and you've completed step two. In step three, we're just going to press the programmed button three times for one second each. So one, two, and you press it the third time, and the door will open. So did I just make that look easy by breaking that down into only three steps? Well, if you do have any questions, give us a call at any of our Vern ID locations, or feel free to stop on by sometime. I'm Tom from Vern ID Motor Cars, and you've just experienced the ID effect.